I have been making games for a year and finally I can do my own one year of game dev video. So first off, is making games easy? No it's not, but just like any other skill you can learn by doing it enough continuously. So what have I actually achieved and done in this one year of game development? I made a YouTube channel and I made a Twitter for smaller posts. I used them to document the progress of my game development journey. This also keeps me motivated so I can make more games to make more content from them. I made my first game in 3 days in Ludum Dare Game Jam. I used paper and pen graphics but the game itself was too hard. But at least you could kill C Sharp, Time, fight Unity, fight yourself and try not to fall on errors. I made a second game in 3 hours for the Tri Jam Game Jam. In this game a cop had to carry his assistant to get to the criminals and bring them to jail. I actually got 3rd place in this game jam. Winning. I also made a game in 1 hour, then I made more and more game jam games with various results. Charlie the unusual snail about a snail with a gun, game golden touch where King Midas turns his assistants into gold, unable to be stable about a crazy scientist who thinks he's saving the fire plant and killing robots, but turns out the robots were actually his colleagues in the end. I also made a game for Sea Jam called Middle Age Mutant Dolphin Lundgren, made a game for Ludum Dare 50 called It Will Fall. I did it only a few hours each day because I had a flu. I made my first 3D game, a parody game called Lies of Deliria. This also got me 10k views on YouTube. It's still the highest to this day, thanks to everyone who watched it. This project helped me understand 3D development, positioning, rigs, animations, terrain building, a bit of blender and etc. I made an AR project. I made a VR project. And these weren't that hard since I learned a lot while making the 3D parody game. I started to make a no tutorial 3D project where you switch baby moves with an adult moves to solve puzzles. I also remade the first game ever made in 2 hours. Parallel to this I started to work on a metroidvania about a time traveling dog where you can travel to areas as well as periods of time and that was really dumb because I thought my first game would be something like Hollow Knight but also you could travel across timelines on top of these areas. What the f*** was I thinking? What were they thinking? While making this project I got some art made, I made an 8 way contratype shooting, I started working on cave level, an excellent looking golem, I implemented the save system, I implemented the power up system, but all of this is on hold now. Just like every other new game developer, I started a project too early that was just simply too massive for my skill set. I also completed the 100 days of game dev challenge to keep me motivated. I did something every day and posted about it. This was a very interesting experience, but some days just felt forced and I felt a little burned out after it. Looking back at it, on some days I just did it because I had to, not because I wanted to. And now finally I'm actively working on a project that I can actually complete. A project that I'm actually excited about. Mainly because the idea wasn't forced and I really like what I'm working on. It's a roguelike. Uh, well, maybe it's a roguelite since it's not turn-based. For this project I want a little bit more progress before I make a devlog about it. I don't want to make devlogs for devlogs sake with non-sufficient progress like I did before. All of this allowed me to make one of the biggest changes I had this year. While I was learning game development I understood that I like programming much more than I like IT project management, which was my occupation for 10 years prior. So I decided to switch my profession, I went from being an IT project manager for 10 years to a developer. Also I figured if I want to make games I need to know programming a lot better, and plus being a project manager was too stressful lately anyways. So I got a job as a web developer, and it was going good for 5 months. One day I was browsing the net and saw a job opening as a C-Sharp Unity developer. There are only a few companies in my country that actually have openings for Unity. I figured what's the worst that can happen, at least I'll see how the Unity interview goes. So I went for it and somehow landed the position and been working there since. I've been creating various interactive uh, web solutions and games, as well as some hardware related projects and some Unity games too. While having this opportunity I'm really trying to learn as much as I can and get every piece of information I can out of it. So this was the reason I posted my content as well as making my game. I needed to adjust to my new job, be dedicated to it. Because of that I'm feeling much more confident in my job and less stressed. So now I'm back on the content creation as well as making my game, so devlog coming soon. So what and how did I learn this year? I learned that I can do and learn a lot and everyone who wants to can too. The catch is you have to start and you have to continue doing it. And also I wouldn't suggest comparing your success, progress, failures to others. There are many developers that are way above you in this journey. But there are also a lot of devs that haven't gotten to the point where you are. We just hear, see and follow the great and successful hardworking game developers. They are not the only ones that exist. In fact, these successful game developers and successful game development content creators are a very small percentage of the wide spectrum of game developers. So chin up and make some games. Mm, his neck is high, makes me trust him. I also have learned to code, uh, like a noob but still, some of it was C-sharp, some JavaScript, some React and many other JS libraries. Programming has also made me much more structured and less chaotic in other aspects of life. I doubled the bidding construct too, Game Maker Studio, Godot 
and Unreal, but ultimately I decided to learn Unity, since there was so much information about it out there. I started with tutorials, like many other people do. I don't think there's one right way to learn Unity. Uh, some stuff I got from Stack Overflow, and nowadays I can simply code myself, but oftentimes I still consult Stack Overflow in some tutorials, but now I have a much clearer understanding of what and why is being done, and can easily manipulate and hack them to my own needs. At first I was like copy pasta from Stack, copy pasta from tutorials, copy pasta from tutorial videos with manual code typing. And doing this, slowly I got the understanding of how things work and how to use these things that I was pasta. I guess to each his own. Although I would have made a game with no tutorials much faster in this journey if I had the opportunity to do this again. I also learned that you should never start too big. Everyone said it but somehow I just refused to hear it. And I guess a lot of starting devs do too. Oh, I figured if I can make this, then I probably could make this. I suggest you start small. Even my first game jam game was too complimented. It was a full platforming game with shooting mechanics, special features, a block rushing you from the top, enemies destroying boxes, moving platforms, bosses, special move. I did like 16 hours of dev in 3 days on that one. I should have made a Flappy Birds clone. Well no, it was the biggest learning progress that I have today because it was my first one, so no regrets on this one. I also learned to do some very basic pixel art in Aspirate. I had skills in Photoshop, but vector art for me was a potato style fail though. And some other fails too. But one day I could decide and get decent at this too. For me, it would just take a lot of time. I also learned how to edit videos, how to start a YouTube channel, how to make thumbnails. I'm still not very good at this YouTube stuff, but I'm slowly trying to improve bit by bit. So subscribe if you're interested to see my progress. So what are my future plans regarding game development in this channel? My plans regarding game development is to make one really good, solid, polished level for my new game and try to work on this game as much as possible. A devlog coming in about a month or a month and a half about the progress so far. Maybe an occasional game jam or a birdie game here and there. For this channel I will be documenting everything without trying to force out content like I had tackled with extra hot sauce yesterday. Thanks to everyone who watched, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want, leave a like, subscribe or comment.